Y'all know it's always a weirdo alert. Can't sit and mind my business. Y'all know I'll be wanting to um, use profanity so bad. But yeah, I was sitting here eating these. They all right, but the organic ones that stop and shop be hit. All of them sweet too. And we gotta ask. We got one car right there, right? Behind that fence. He been there for a minute. And like I said, I ain't just chilling right now. I'm done for the day. I ain't picking up nothing else. But you know how the weirdos do. And the weirdos do. Y'all know how they do. Fuck you looking at, bitch. <clears throat> I'm waiting for somebody to try some shit with me. I know y'all better not try to come alone doing it. It is night night. I'm not playing with nobody. I'm letting you know that shit right now. All you motherfuckers are straight cowards hiding behind shit. I ain't beat for that shit. I always been direct with my shit. Anybody tell you that. I'm not about to sit here and play with you motherfuckers. Y'all motherfuckers just want to be evil and, and destroy the world and kill everybody the fuck off. We ain't ready to die. How about that? So all you scared motherfuckers, like, I, and I'm going to say something too. I don't know if, uh, you know, I know it's gang stalking motherfuckers all around me. Like even people I fuck with or so-called fuck with. And I got words to stay away from me or don't take my call, change their numbers, all that kind of suck ass shit. Stay where you at. I can't fuck with you. Straight up. On some real shit. I can't fuck with you. I'm done with you. So don't look forward to me calling no more or looking around for people. I'm not going to do it. But, you know, all you weirdo motherfuckers and suckers and frauds, like y'all motherfuckers scared of these people. Like you can't be running, running around your whole life scared of these motherfuckers. At some point in time, the people going to have to fight and take this shit back over. Whether it's with Trump, without Trump, however the fuck it go. If you plan to live, however long your lifespan is, you gonna have to stand here and fight. You can't just let these motherfuckers just, they already done flooded us with illegals to the point where, nigga, I'ma tell you, they're giving them all housing, right? Y'all yeah, wanna be you know, comfy and think you, you you live in a subsidized housing right now and getting welfare and all that shit and you comfortable. But what if they came to you and said, oh, you got to go or you got a set amount of time before you can't even get subsidy no more because it's coming. So y'all can sit around and act like, you know, you, 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 you're not going to go against the system because you're getting subsidies and all that, like I said, but it's gonna come a time when they start checking up on you, seeing how many kids you got and shit like that, and cutting your shit down little by little, but increasing the illegal shit more and more. That's how it's gonna go. And when and when they and when enough of them get in a in a uh in a certain area, or they penetrate a certain area and they and they and they populate it, they gonna start drop dropping their anchor babies. And then that whole next generation that's coming. They're going to motherfucking phase the whole black generation out or the, or, or the whole black population out. Y'all better get on it. I don't give a fuck. I'm a hustler. I could go get money anywhere. That's one thing. Number two, I know some people. So it's like, you know, yeah, shit fucked up because I decide to stay in the situation that I'm in waiting on for what I'm waiting on. You know what I mean? I got shit coming to me, but I have to wait. You feel me? I don't have no other choice at this point. And that's why I always been a nigga that'll go, go get it out the mud because it's like waiting on shit and that, that gotta go through a system. And now where is that with me? Where they're just fucking illegally targeting me or been illegally targeting, targeting me for years. I gotta sit and wait now and, and watch these fucks, you know, hold my shit up and to the point where, you know, I gotta start making calls all around and letting them know how long they have been holding this or holding that so they can fucking free shit up. That's how it's been with me. You know what I mean? But I ain't gonna sit here and complain about it. I just sit and wait for now. And in the meantime, get my little coins that I get to pay my bills and shit. But I don't got no criminal record no more, just to let y'all know. 
So my options is, is, is not limited no more. They're all the way open. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, y'all got to get up off that plantation, I'm going to tell you, because they're targeting, they're, the, the next target is going to be motherfuckers low-income housing. Yeah, it feel good to be able to go into a house you ain't paying that much for you and all that. But once they start targeting your low-income housing, there's nothing you can do at that point. Look at this weirdo. Whole fucking weirdo. Pedo brain motherfucker. But yeah, it, once they start targeting housing, there's not really much you can do. You know what I mean? If you ain't got a roof over your head, it's hard. I done been there. And the reason I've been there is because I've been targeted every fucking way I go. You got these bum-ass gang stalkers that they compromise all around wherever you live at. If you live in the building, you live in a, a apartment complex, they compromise these motherfuckers all around you. I caught pneumonia and damn near died getting fucking electrocuted with, with directed energy weapons and shit like that. So, you know, for, for the people that don't know how that shit go, that ain't targeted, just wait. Do something they don't like or be around a motherfucker like me that they don't like. They gonna investigate you and eventually come to you with a proposition. If you don't go through with it, your ass is going on that list too, illegally and unconstitutionally, by the way. You heard? But that's what it is, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of y'all, y'all don't even understand how vast this shit is. Real shit. And I mean, V-A-S-T. Vast. <laughs> Just in case you ain't catch that. The, the network of that shit is, like, is off the chain, you know? And I'm glad I watched the Pablo Escobar series because how these illegals operate out here and how they be following you around and they, like, they automatically get a phone to gang stalk you as soon as they come into the country. They get the app, whatever app that DHS is using in the corrupt ass um, Mayorkas that's giving the orders. He the um, director of the, Par the Department of Homeland Security. So he's giving the orders and, you know, it's bad enough you already got these bum ass Americans doing it. You feel me? No, no life, low life, bum ass Americans gang stalking you. That's number one. Number two, the illegals have no shame at all. So they don't give a fuck if you know that, that, that they're gang stalking you. They're still going to do it. You feel what I'm saying? It's to the point where now illegals is committing murders and rapes and all kind of shit. And these motherfuckers get locked up. They charges get downgraded. If, if an American like me or, or another American did some shit like what they be doing, oh, they'll be trying to send us to prison for the rest of our lives. So y'all better get caught up on what the fuck going on. I, I'm tired of trying to inform people and tell them. I'm going to just keep my information to myself. And I'm giving you the right information. The shit that I'm telling you is actually what's, what what be happening and going on out here. But nobody seems to listen. So, you know, everybody just want to become Cointel Pro rats and spies and informants and shit like that. You know, y'all got to get your mind right, man. You can't fold and bend to these motherfuckers just because they the law. They the corrupt law, the rogue law. They don't belong in the fucking place that they in. You understand what I'm saying? These motherfuckers belong, belong behind federal bars for the bullshit that they doing. Fuck these motherfuckers, straight up. And I'm not gonna keep saying, I'm not, and, and I'm not gonna stop saying it. So therefore, that's what it is. I'm about to carry my ass in because I'm gonna get up early so I can finish my day early tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? It's Sunday tomorrow. Hopefully I can take off for Monday. You know what I mean? Go, go get a room or something and get away from every fucking body because these motherfuckers, man, let me tell you, <laughs> I, I, I won't even mention none of that, but it's just a whole lot of bullshit going on. You know what I mean? I talked to my peoples and we gonna motherfucking um, look forward to buying some, some land or something, man. I ain't gonna say what state or none of that. But I'ma look into like them houses. They got houses on, um, I think it was Home Depot or Lowe's. They got the contain, they got container houses and like houses for like 20,000 and they finance these shits. You feel me? So. I'm definitely gonna look into that in the near future, like maybe the next six to 12 months and uh, build a fortress because you can't, you're not gonna survive long out here with the shit that's going on out here today with all the bullshit that's going on as far as with the gang stalking these illegals, how they phasing black people out of everything. You know what I mean? It ain't just black people, it's Americans, period. I don't give a fuck if you white, if you brown and you from here, you know what I mean? You were born here and you know, your family from here and shit like that, and you black, whatever. It don't matter. If you're American, you're being phased out of anything. And, and uh, you know, and, and, and they giving these illegals complimentary everything. 
So y'all better get on, you know, the ball and figure out what the fuck is going on in this country or get left behind, you know? I don't know what motherfuckers going to do once they start coming for that public housing, but that's the next step. They got too many illegals here. They just, 20,000 20, Haitians just landed in Ohio. They don't even know where to put these motherfuckers. They, 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 wherever they putting them, they trying to put 10 of them to a room. Now, the place where they got them at is them people ain't even got no money out there to take care of them people. But they going to find it. So, you know what I mean? Y'all better get it together, man. They done invaded us with probably 30, 40 million illegals. And, and that came from a credible source of where I heard them numbers over the last four years. So, well, almost four years. So, y'all better get it together, man. That's all I'm going to say. Until the next one, I holler though. Peace.